All right, so now before I show you a guy that's making about a million dollars a month, um, I want you to be very honest with me. When you look at this book and calendar, does it give you a freaking headache? When you look at this book and calendar, doesn't it look like straight chaos? How come we think it's productive to have a million appointments a day? Uh, three to five book meetings per day. I got... Uh, 12 book meetings per day. You guys are doing it the wrong way, but it's all right. I'm going to show you what a book and calendar is supposed to look like. See, when you Google Facebook ad library um, and then you type in their affiliate webinar, I want you to stroll down and find this guy right here. Where is he? His name is Robbie Blanchard. He's like the top selling uh, affiliate on ClickBank. Now, why am I showing you this dude? I'm showing you this dude for a couple reasons. Uh, affiliate marketers seem to have it better than uh, agency owners. Why? Like you get the outlying agency owners that become millionaires. And the reason why is because their structure, uh, the structure of the business model, your time and everything is too much of the doing. This is why a lot of people quit the agency side and start being affiliates because they're doing too much of the doing. You got to do the lead generation. You got to do like the prospect, the outreach. You got to do the fulfillment. You got to do the onboarding process, client getting all of that extra stuff. Some of you guys cold calling, but affiliates don't have to do that. So if you took the structuring of an affiliate's business model and apply that to the agency guys, then you wouldn't have to have a book calendar. I'm going to show you what my calendar looks like and you'll see what I'm talking about. But first, watch this. So he's not just the only one on here. It's a whole crap load of other affiliates on here with their webinars. Some of the webinars are live and some of them are recorded, but that's how it does. Look, two sessions, 2 p.m. or 8 p.m. on Tuesday. So they're not just hopping on the call when somebody say they're interested. <laughs> when the lead comes in, they don't even talk to them. They get on the list. They get followed up to until the, the point of the event and everything like that. They're not talking to somebody every couple hours or something like that. They're getting all their no's or all their yeses at one time. So let me show you what my book and calendar is structured like. So as you can see, we're, we are in the month of August and all I have left is the 31st on my booking calendar and they can schedule a session at 1230 or at uh, 530 p.m. Now I'm going to show you guys now. Look at this. So this is the month of September. As you can see, we only have openings for seven in uh, 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 for Thursdays and Fridays, Thursdays and Fridays, all down the board, all at the same time, 12.30 and 5.30 p.m. So what this does is this clears up your week. This clears up your weekend, your week. You got family, you got kids, you got friends, you got like life to experience and everything, guys. Your whole day can't be spent like get hopping on a call with somebody <laughs> and you're not losing any money when you do it this way. So what you do is you give them an optim ultimatum, right? Or you give them options. You're doing your prospects like normal. Uh, you know, you're doing your prospecting, your outreach like normal, but this allows you to not be interrupted to hop on the call with anyone. So you give them the option. I say, Hey, when we do our outreach, you know what I'm saying? Or when we run our ads or partnerships or whatever, the, the, it always ends off the same way. Well, we have 1230 Central or 530 Central on Thursday or Friday that we can show you how this system works, which one of those days work best for you. That's how you do it. And guess what? Now you're inviting them to an event. It's going to be exciting in your in your pitch, in your prospecting DM or whatever you're doing, you're letting them know you're inviting them to an event that's going to have multiple uh, chiropractors, multiple dentists, multiple blah, 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 all there at the same time, soaking up the game and congregating and, and sharing the wealth and the knowledge and all of that stuff. That's way more excited than exciting than somebody talking about some let's hop on a call. <laughs> Let's hop on a call, discuss business, blah, 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 blah. But the good thing about this, guys, is you allow, you're you allowed to use the sheep effect. What I mean by that is with webinars, when people, people follow people. 
They're copycats. The skeptics that are actually interested, they're waiting for other people to get off the fence. And when the other people get off the fence, they like join in. You know, so that why that why do you think when you go to a seminar or if you're on a webinar, you see them call out the people that actually bought? They'll be like, Oh, good job, Christy. Christy just took the leap, y'all. Like, that's what I'm talking about. That's you know, being brave, you know what I'm saying? Scared of money don't make money, you know what I'm saying? Like you'll see them call them out because in their skeptics' mind, they're like, Well, I I'm not gonna do it if ain't nobody else gonna do it, <laughs> which is a horrible way to go through life, right? So, so my point is, guys, when you're just hopping on a call with them one by one, uh, you're simply setting yourself up for a couple of things. You're setting yourself up for a huge disappointment. First of all, you're getting, you're never going to get that time back. What if they don't say yes? And on top of that, you're repeating the same thing to everybody that you get on a call with. Tell me I'm lying. I mean, there's only so many ways you can explain Facebook ads, TikTok ads, SEO, and all of that, right? So if you're repeating all that stuff anyway, either record it and play the presentation for everybody, or if you're going to talk to people live, have a set time where you're inviting them to an event. Change your verbiage. Verbiage, I think that's how you say it. Change it. I'm like, okay, uh, what time this week can you get on the call? No, 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 no. We're ha we're in uh, we're gonna have multiple chiropractors at an event later this week on Thursday and Friday, both days. Uh, they're gonna be learning how to do this. They're gonna be learning how to do that. Which one of those days can you attend this event? Like th that sounds way more exciting. That sounds like they're gonna be part of a group, a community, and everything like that. On top of that, now you don't get you don't have to. You don't have to repeat yourself a million times every time you hop on a call and feel that disappointing uh that disappointment. It's horrible. Like cold calling sucks anyway. You've been getting hung up on all freaking day. Tell me I'm lying. And then when you finally do get somebody to say, Yeah, I want to get on the call with you, probably from running your emails or your DMs, they're like, Oh, that's what this is. Oh, I already talked to a guy about this. I'm good. Or or I tried this before, it didn't work. Or let me uh talk to a few of my people. Let's see if we can move some stuff around and I'm gonna get back to you. Or the worst one ever is okay sounds good um let me get that in writing why don't you you know send me a proposal over and uh you know we we'll, we'll probably be getting going this week i think you know we're gonna have some funds come in a budget and we'll get going this week and you send that yeah <laughs> getting off the call super hype and then the next week come but no invoice comes dog if i'm gonna get my disappointment let me get it all at once let me rip the band-aid off if I'm going to get my excitement, that's awesome. Let's make it a parade. Let's make it a freaking, uh, 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 the fireworks going off and stuff. Let's, let's celebrate. You hear me? I don't want to do it one by one no more. I've been doing that the entire time, right? Treat it. If you treat your agency model the same way affiliates treat their business model, then you'll grow faster. Sales will be easier because, like I said, people follow the herd. Sheep follow the herd. So when they see other people taking advantage of the opportunity, especially as a good, if it's a good opportunity, other people follow in. So instead of signing one person per day, you might be able to sign three, five, ten people a day if you're treating it like a webinar. Because if you run a webinar, if you've ever ran a webinar, guys, you you get multiple sales a day, don't you? Exactly. So why wouldn't you do the same thing with the agency? Only thing that's changing is the, the, the service or the product. But but you can keep the structuring the same. Now you got the whole rest of your day. If you know you ain't got to get on the call to 1230 all the way on Thursday or Friday, then you can spend the rest of the week doing like massive prospecting partnerships, joint ventures, Facebook ads, Google ads, doing whatever you can to fill up the booking calendar for the Thursday and Friday. I mean, did y'all just see the freaking Alex Hormoza event? Did he hop on the call with all those thousands of people one by one? No, like for an entire couple months, he's been building up. All his videos have been talking about this event, all of them. 
Every last one, all his DMs, all his emails, all his partnerships has been talking about this event that was coming up. And it had hundreds of thousands of people on that mug live. Never been done before. So imagine if you spent like some days at least, at least you spent a week building up invites. Like you just inviting everybody to this massive event that you're going to have at the end of the week. You following up with them, getting them excited throughout the week. You know what I'm saying? Even dropping little hints of what the price is going to be during the week. So nobody's shocked and amazed, right? And those people that actually show up, they know your price and they still showed up. But they're so excited from the hype. You see what I'm talking about? And now you sign a, a, a bundle of people instead of one at a time you see like and even if you don't sign anybody guess what if you had to hop on the call with them individually they still wouldn't they still want to ball <laughs> the difference between i don't want to say dumb but the difference between experienced marketers and inexperienced marketers is and I'm guilty. I've been guilty of this, and every now and then I gotta break myself out of this too. I was just, um, you know, getting on the call with some people a while a while ago. Like, you know, what I'm saying, if it's a partner, guys, then it's different. Like, somebody that that you partner with a JV with, you can get on the phone with them. But I'm not getting on the phone with nobody that. First of all, this is what y'all gotta break out of all this consultation mindset. Do you have to get a consultation to go to Apple and buy a computer or go to Walmart and buy something or go to Foot Locker and buy some shoes? No. So get out of this pain, uh, this uh, free consultation mindset. OK, get out of that. OK, if I get on a call with a person, especially if this individually, they didn't already pay before. They didn't already pay for something before. Your time is like a dog. I got three kids. And a wife. I know people don't care. Y'all might not care, but I do. So if we get on a on a call, you've bought something from me, so that it can justify me taking time away from people I care about. I care about y'all too, but like these are my like the, my media family that I owe my time to. You understand? So you have to think like that too. Why are you giving your time away that you can't get back to complete strangers with no reward? And there's nothing wrong with helping people without costs. Well, if that's the case, if you're going to give value, do it with leverage. Do it for free with leverage, though. That way you can help the masses, like with a YouTube channel or a public post or something like that. It still does not make, even free or paid, doesn't make sense to sit and talk to somebody about it individually. Um, okay. All right. So, hey, guys. <laughs> Go ahead, take action with this stuff. You know, um, I want you to take action. If you see something that I drop that you can afford, like if you go to the profit position in the agency, we got that book on there. There's only one ninety seven. You can take advantage of that. It's the profit position in agency book. The only versus best. You get that book is gonna change your life. Only versus best. Go ahead and take advantage of that. Love you.